All right, as we continue on with the Aztecs Power Hour, we are joined right now, Chris, by the coach of the year in Mountain Women Women's Indoor Track and Field. Yes, she backs up her big talk on our program from the last time <laughs> that we had her on. In fact, the uh, the Aztec women, the first ever Mountain West Indoor title at the Mountain West Championships last weekend, so we had to have Sheila Burrell back on the show. Coach, congratulations on your success this season. Welcome back. Thank you, guys. What did I tell you guys last time? You said you were a badass. You <laughs> well, said you girls. were, and you said your girls were badasses, and they pulled it off. They won it for you. Uh, tell us a little bit of how the meet went and uh, and what won it for you. I'll tell you what. It was a pretty cool experience for all of them. We went into the meet winning. You know, we started off the meet winning the pentathlon. Pentathlon is, you know, we have we've actually had the number six girl in the country in the pentathlon already on our team. We added a freshman that's going to be right behind her this year. We started off the meet with 23 points ahead of everybody. And then ended it with Shanika Thomas, who's our, Shanika is the number one triple jumper in the country, you know, yep. the uh, Mount West record holder and, you know, just a super athlete. She ended it by anchoring our 4 by 4 relay. We scored in several events and basically, and we looked good. I'll tell you the best part about the whole thing, we won, but we looked good. Our girls were cute. You know, Stylish. Girls showed up looking good, and I was like, you know, it's just track and field. we got pretty girls, and they run fast. <laughs> Look I good, like run it. fast. I like that motto. Good combination. Hey, Coach, good combination. What's, what's the difference for a, a track and field novice like myself? What's the difference between indoor track and outdoor track? Well, I'll, I'll explain it this way. It's kind of like playing basketball inside a gym and playing basketball outside. The difference is, is that, you know, except in track and field, it's a 200-meter track. And for outdoor, it's a 400-meter track. So if you run one lap, you watch, you watch the Olympics and you watch your 400 meters, it's one lap. Indoor, it's two laps. So you got to be better at turning. There's more smaller, turns. <laughs> it's a, you got you to turn left four times instead of two, yeah. It's a smaller track, and it's shorter distances. Tell us a little bit more about Shanika Thomas, uh, the, the top triple jumper uh, in the country, and uh, set the record. Uh, didn't she set, like, the, the sixth longest triple jump in indoor history this year, too? In, yes. And in, you know, 46 feet, 2 inches, which... As you said, it's the sixth best jump in NCAA history, yeah. which would have won which would have won a national championship. I think thirteen of the fourteen last national championships. She makes it super. I mean, she ran she ran three she did three four events for us this weekend. So she's a team player. You know, her whole thing coming in was, you know, she said she didn't want to do anything spectacular in a triple jump, but she wanted to help her team. But she still jumped the third best jump in the country, tired. So Shanika uh, comes from Jamaica, and she's a she's a she's a quiet girl, sweet girl, team player, but she's she's uh, in a class by herself, I'll tell you that. So what was the event that put you over the top that clinched it for you? Can you like keep track of that during the meet and uh, what was the what was the feeling like uh down there on the floor? Well, let me tell you, everybody, I think everybody had a running tally of what the points were, you know, throughout the meet, different people would walk up to me, my assistant coach would walk up to me, other coaches would walk up to me and show me this is where, you know, where the points are. Um I think we, when we won the pentathlon to start off, we were ahead. All we had to do was is, is hold. You're ready to do what they're supposed to do. My thing going in is if you're supposed to score points, score. If you're supposed to win an event, win an event. And that happened in most cases, and we dropped the ball a couple of times. But once uh, Jasmine Burrell came back and won the, won the shot put, set a school record, won the indoor shot put, it was like, okay, we could breathe a little easy. But going into the 4x4, four four, uh, you guys don't know track and field, but it's kind of like uh, – there's five seconds left left on the game, and you know in a, in a basketball game, and it's a really close. You know everybody's everybody's scrambling, everybody's getting ready to you know playing defense or whatnot. It's like that in track where the four by four came down, and these girls had to run it. Us and UNLV, and UNLV's team has run. You know it's a pretty good team, and we put four girls out there who went out there and ran with heart. They didn't have to run that hard, but they did, and they came out with a win. And it was just sort of a a team championship where. Once we won the 4x4, four four, everybody just went crazy. We did the whole I believe we will win chant. <laughs> you know, one girl runs across, the, runs across the track and starts going, I believe we will win. It was just, it was very, very cool. Awesome, man. Uh, Sheila Burrell is with us, the uh, great uh, coach, coach of the year on the uh, Mountain West uh, Conference of Women's Indoor Track and Field. Now, what's next? Do you move on to nationals at all, or, do, or is it all individuals that move on to national competitions? Yeah, we, we have a couple people moving on to nationals. We go, we're doing a last chance meet in Washington this weekend, but we move on to NCAAs. We're, we're hoping to, you know, still be, I think we're ranked number 23 or 24 in the country. I hope, we hope to improve on that going into the NCAA championships. And then we get ready for outdoor season. You know, I want to invite everybody who's listening. If you're track and field, track and field fans, or you want to, you're interested, we have a home meet here at the Aztec uh, 
at the ass track up on the uh, sports deck on March 15th and 16th. Come on out, but uh, we go into outdoor season and hope to, hope to repeat. You know, San Diego State's only won ever one outdoor conference championship, and we're going to go out and try to win the outdoor championship and then place top five at the NCAA's. So we'll be, you know, we're, we're, we're aiming for the NCAA championships outdoor for sure. That's our, that's our main goal. Sounds like it's a lot of fun. You get the girls chanting the I believe. It's, it seems like it's going to be a great time, so I recommend uh, check it out and Hey, make sure the girls look good because if they do, they'll run fast, right? Hey, it, it matters. You got you to be pretty. All right, all right, Coach. Uh, good to have you back on the show again. We'll catch up with you again a little bit later in the outdoor season. All right, thanks, guys. Congratulations, Coach.